Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about the GST. So GST packer the Munadi, we will see some basics. That is the difference between the direct tax and the indirect tax. So direct tax na enna na, it is a type of tax where the impact and the incidence of taxation falls on the same entity. And how the simple as one na, here the burden cannot be shifted. That is, for example, if you take, you earn one lakh. And the government says that you have to pay 1000 rupees as tax. So because you earn, you have to pay the tax, right? So other than a personal income tax or for the other example, you take property tax. So you own a property or say for instance, any wealth and on the wealth gaga, you pay tax. So you have to pay the tax for that. Okay. So you cannot shift that burden to others. So these sort of tax are called as direct tax. And the examples of direct taxes are corporation tax, property tax, gift tax, income tax, and so on. Okay. So simple and average konga, it is where the incidence and the impact without the impact na, it is upon whom the government levies the tax. So, if you tax cut no abdin solta government sonna na, then it is the impact. And incidence na, those who pay the tax. Okay, na? so in the case of personal income tax, the incidence is upon you or the burden is upon you. Fine. So, it is on the same person. So, that's why these are called as direct taxes. And indirect tax, indirect taxes na, here the incidence and impact of taxation does not fall on the same entity. Adhav the simple as na, the burden can be shifted. For example, government brings in excise duty or central excise. So it is something which is called as manufacturing tax or goods produce agad ilia adh mele levy pandra tax na excise duty. And in the excise duty me companies will pay. But however what they do is they transfer the burden of paying that tax. So if you supply chain mechanism la paating na adhav the market la or product produce pandra na then supply chain mechanism na it goes to the wholesaler retailer and so on. So in the supply chain la paating na here the burden of paying the tax are shifted to some another one. Puridangla, that is, the impact and the incident does not fall on the same entity. So, you sales tax, excise duty, custom duty, service tax. So, these are few examples of indirect tax. Fine. So, direct tax, na incidence and the impact falls on the same entity, while the indirect tax is opposite of that. Adhav, the incidence and impact of taxation does not fall on the same entity. Puridangla. So, this GST happens to be an indirect tax. Okay. So, GST is an indirect tax. Apo India la GST ki munadi taxation hai ilia, indirect tax abdin sollicating na, no friends, irundu the. Then why there is a need for us to bring a GST abdin sollicating na? For this, you need to know the background of the taxation. Okay, ingla. So, we know that sales tax na enna or excise duty na enna sollte elark me thirinjir konna nekra. So, a tax on the product which are sold or when a purchaser buys a product Adhumala tax levy pandrangna, then it is called as sales tax. And excise duty na, it is something on the manufactured goods. Puridangla. So these are called as excise duties. Okay. So these are two important indirect taxes which were playing a major role in India. And taxation, government every levy pandrangna, here I have shown you a chart. So in the chart la, you can see one product irka, that product is sold to the manufacturer at 6,300. So the price of the product is 6,000. But however, 5% extra tax is added to the product. So either sales tax are consider pandanga or you even consider this as an excise duty. So whatever it is, I'm just telling this for example. Puridangla. So 5% tax is added and then the product is sold at 6,300. Now what happens is, in the product by keeping profit, the manufacturer sells the same product to the wholesaler at 10,500. So, in the 10,500, 10,000 is the price of the product and 500 is the tax, that's 5% tax. So, in the chart, you can easily consider that is, you can tax levy. Fine. So, this is a lot of flaws. So, what is the flaw? So, you can add 5% tax add on, you can add 5% tax add on. So, this is a flaw. Here, the tax evasion is possible. So, for example, say raw material supplier sells a product to the manufacturer. Then, our munuruba tax levy panano abdin solra the kaga in the rules in impose panirka. See, the government can say that yes, you have to levy the tax abdin sold the government rules at the Okay, but this product can be sold at black market, right? So, bill illama with the lalia. Here, this is one problem. And the second problem here is price rise. Adaw the either cascading effect abdin no. So, ara ruba purula munuruba tax pay panni manufacturer vangirrar then he add some values to that and adha 10000 rupees ku vikkarar thirupiyo adu mele 500 rupees taxation amount levy pandrar so the product is sold at 10500 so indha mari supply chain la varumbodhu tax on tax add aguda so 300 rupees erkanave tax kattitaanga andha 300 rupees ki thirupiyo oru vaati tax kattrar this is 
one point. And added to that, price also increases. Fine. So these were two major problems which were prevailing. It is tax evasion plus the cascading effect of taxation or price rise. Fine. So these were the major problem. Ipo, in the problem of mitigate pandra gagada, edit the VAT. Fine. So friends, again, VAT is a model of taxation. Okay, Engla. So VAT in itself is not a tax. VAT is a model. First of all, you need to understand that. Plus, VAT from the name itself, you can easily understand that is it is the tax on the value addition. Fine. And friends, again, VAT are of three types. And India la follow up under type in Abdin Solicating na it is input tax credit system type. Sharing la so the other two types are not important to us, but what we will see here is input tax credit system type. Okay. So how VAT will solve the purpose? Abdin Solicating na see we saw that a product is sold at 6300 and the same product undergoes modification or value addition other than the product la, and the same product is sold at 10,000. So 10,000 in the product we come over then what he does is at the 5 percentage taxation amount or I know add 10,500 but in the VAT model when the manufacturer buys the product he will buy with the bill so what he will do is he will give that bill to the government and the government will give him the tax which he has already paid I hope you got my point that is simple as well product so product he will add some value and he will sell at 10,500. But logica pesno na, ara erbai ki erkanwe tax amount pay pani acha, thau the munno ruba. Fine. So ipo the value addition ka thana tax wangano government. So tax on tax thirpi wanga kuda dilleya. So for this, what the manufacturer can do is he can present the bill to the government. So ara erthi munno ruba na kati erka. Idala munno ruba tax abdin solte he can present the bill to the government and he can get that 300 rupees as refund. Puri dengla. So by this, the tax on tax tax adavu cascading effect is mitigated and added to that tax evasion is illa kammi aagum so ipo namba previous example la paakumbodhu what we saw is 6000 bike or product varudhu 6300 bike vittirranga so it is not mandatory for them that they have to sell with the bill so bill illama kuda avanga sell pannanga na supply chain mechanism will go on but inga apdi kadaiyadhu because he can get back the taxation amount from the government all the players in the supply chain what they will do is they will buy the products with the bill and again inga orthar kuda bill illama product then at the end of the day they have to face the loss so by this we can say that tax evasion is also mitigated plus the cascading effect or the price rise of the product is also controlled see friends I know I have explained this part very shortly but I don't want to waste time writing each and everything again and again so I felt I'll just give you in a crux format and it is more than enough if you know these points for UPSC okay so if you logical first example and the example la, if you pay tax then the ultimate tax which is paid to the government is 2600 VAT model illa the concept la. and when you do transaction with the concept of VAT then the tax amount which is paid is rupees 1000 so this is price check so this is VAT so this is 1970 kapro, what happened is excise duty became sen VAT and all the sales tax became VAT so sales tax is under the purview of the state government. So, sales tax all authorities in state government it is levied by the state government and they are collected by the state government. So, in the sales tax, all the VAT model So, if you have seen the GST implement, if you have seen a bill then that is VAT. So, VAT is it is sales tax and they are levied as well as collected by the state government. And again, the excise duty became sen VAT that the central VAT mati danga in the excise duty and again service tax was introduced via 88th amendment fine that was in the year 1995 this service tax was introduced and article 268A was bought in and service tax which happens to be an indirect tax was also levied and again in indirect taxation many taxes were there for instance customs duty octroi entry tax and so on and major indirect taxes these by the three that is sales tax excise duty and service tax so sales tax excise duty VAT model impose fine 
நவ் வி ஹவ் பாட் இன் சம்திங் விச் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் ஜிஎஸ்டி ஸோ நம்ம இப்போ என்ன பண்ணியிருக்கோன்னா இந்த மூணுத்தையும் இன்டகிரேட் பண்ணிட்டு அதாவது சேல்ஸ் டேக்ஸ் எக்ஸைஸ் டியூட்டிஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் டேக்ஸ் மூணுத்தையும் இன்டகிரேட் பண்ணிட்டு வி ஹவ் பாட் இன் அ சிங்கிள் டேக்ஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் குட்ஸ் அண்ட் சர்வீஸ் டேக்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ ஒன் குட் ஆஸ்க் சார் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹாவ் அ டாக்ஸேஷன் சிஸ்டம் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு வேட் நவ் வை தர் இஸ் அ நீட் ஃபார் ஜிஎஸ்டி அண்ட் அகைன் ஃப்ரெஞ்ச் யூ நீட் டு நோ திஸ் தட் இஸ் ஜிஎஸ்டி இஸ் அகைன் அ வேட் மாடல் ஆஃப் டாக்ஸேஷன் ஓகே அண்ட் இங்கேயும் வி ஃபாலோ இன்புட் டாக்ஸ் கிரெடிட் சிஸ்டம் தான் ஸோ இது ஒரு மல்டி stage tax which follows input tax credit system then what major reforms they would have bought or enna or difference irukku gst la abdin solli kettingna for this you need to understand the flaws which were prevalent in our taxation system that is before the implementation of gst and enna na flaws abdin solli kettingna see as i told you earlier the sales tax which are levied and collected by the state government seringla now the major problem was the sales tax varied from stage to stage so tamil nadu la or product mala 10% of tax irundaduna then same product mala innor state la 5% than tax irundadu puridhungla so the tax rate varied and this was seen as a tool for bringing in investment so or state la investment eduthu varanuma then what they used to do is they used to reduce the taxation rates so that investment could flow and idha or political tool ah kuda paathanga in the sales tax okay now again central excise duty liyum taxes eppadi irundaduna product based panni taxes irundadu okay ingla so different tax rates were there and added to that see i told you that this excise duties and sales tax follow vat model okay so ipo or product tamil nadu le produce pandranga then tamil nadu le vittranga nu veengla then input tax credit system could be easily applied to that product yana state government kitta they will produce a bill they will get back the tax amount which they have already paid so this is applicable in intra state rate now what if a product goes for inter state rate then anga what they used to apply is central sales tax so central sales tax na it is a tax which is levied by the center but it is collected by the states so in the state collect panna apdi solli kettingna and the product enga sell agudho and the state in the cst a collect panidom and friends again the input tax credit system was not available to the central sales tax puridhungla so idunala or cascading effect theriyada so input tax credit system namba eduthu vandade cascading effect mitigate pananum da but again this cst does not solve the purpose fine so state ku la vittingna then price rise irukada appo interstate பேஸ் பண்ணி ஒரு ப்ராடக்ட் இருக்குன்னா தென் தைஸ் குட் ரைஸ் ரைட் விச் ஹேப்பன்ஸ் டு பி அ மேஜர் ஃபிளா அண்ட் அகைன் ஆடட் டு தட் டேக்ஸ் காம்ப்ளையன்ஸ் வாஸ் ஆல்சோ ஹெக்டிக் ஸோ காம்ப்ளையன்ஸ்னா ஃபாலோயிங் தி ரூல்ஸ் ஆர் obeying the rules okay so ipo different rate of tax irundhu ipo or product value varudhu nuvingla then adu mela sales tax irukum excise duty irukum and if the product goes for interstate trade then adu mela cst apply agum and added to that octroi entry tax so different taxes were there so adunala tax rules follow pandrathu romba hectic ana valaya irundhu fine plus added to that fake bills adhigama provide panna aarambichaanga see namba vat model eduthu vandade tax evasion ah mitigate pannom na so tax evasion nadakka koodadu appdin solradhukaga dhaan we bought in vat model and inga in the vat model liyum what the business people used to do is they used to produce fake bills so enna seivaanga na bill produce paniduvaanga fake ah and or online system e kediyadhu illa idhula so because online system is not available or because lack of accountability fake bills a vechiye supply chain mechanism ah mudichiduvaanga so even there was a revenue loss for the government because of this criteria and again added to that product classification was also an hectic task so for instance ipo neenga software products eduthukningan veengla then and the software products ah neenga service tax apply panuveengla or sales tax apply panuveengla so even there was an dilemma with respect to the classification of certain products and added to that service tax so service tax which was bought out by the 88th amendment act in 1995 so article 268a introduce pannanga so in that service tax la tax credit system was not there so ipo real estate irukku or you have many sectors like oil and gas production construction business agriculture mining so even few areas are there which comes under service okay and because the tax credit system is not available for service sectors inga price rise um adhigama irundhathu puridhungla so simple as sonna service tax ku input tax credit system was not applicable so adanal cascading effect was there with respect to service sector okay now again tax administration was also difficult state laws variation irukku single law kedaiyadu many complexities okay plus added to that logistic hecticness so logistic hecticness na ipo or state out or state or product trade pandranga nu vechukonga then what the lorry driver has to do is he has to stop at the check post and he have to get a signature 
and you have to pay the tax it seems so idanala one could see a huge traffic over the check post okay so again it adds on to the hecticness right so idukaga eduthu vandad than gst and ninga gst la irukra provisions ellam parunga idha solve pandradhukaga da irukum for instance if you take fake bill for that we have bought in something which is called as e way billing system so ipo ellame online da okay so multiplicity of taxes or multiplicity of duties so idha ellathu integrate pannittu gst nu eduthu vandtom goods and service tax so now even the service will have input tax credit fine and sales tax variation irukku in gst you don't have that fine so all the areas were looked upon in this gst and uh, in the issues ellame mitigate pannirukanga gst la okay so right now i am stopping this video because i feel that 15 minutes video is more effective and uh, in the video la i hope i have given you enough detail why there is a need for us to bring in gst abdin solta and in the next video what we will see is we will see all the provisions of gst that is all the important points for upsc with respect to gst will be given by me in the next video okay so that's it with respect to this video friends and uh, thank you thank you for watching